birth. When a massive star at least 20 to 25 times heavier than our sun runs out of nuclear fuel, its core can no longer support its own weight. In less than one second, the core collapses from the size of Earth to just 12 miles across. The outer layers of the star explode outward in a supernova, while the core compresses into infinite density. This creates what astronomers call a stellar mass black hole, typically weighing 3 to 50 times more than our Sunday. During this birth phase, the new black hole is incredibly active. The collapse generates gravitational waves that ripple through space-time at the speed of light. These waves carry away enormous amounts of energy, causing the black hole to settle into its final mass. The event horizon, the point of no return, forms instantly around the collapsed core. Feeding Frenzy Young black holes are hungry. In this stage, they actively consume nearby matter through a process called accretion. Gas, dust, and sometimes entire stars spiral inward, forming a glowing disk around the black hole. As this material accelerates toward the event horizon, friction heats it to millions of degrees, causing it to emit intense X-rays and gamma rays. The feeding process is incredibly violent. Matter doesn't fall straight in, but instead spirals around the black hole in an accretion disk. The inner edge of this disk can reach temperatures of 100 million degrees Celsius, making it one of the hottest places in the universe. Jets of particles shoot out from the black hole's poles at nearly the speed of light, extending for thousands of light years into space. The Quiet Middle Age After millions of years of active feeding, most black holes enter a dormant phase. They've consumed most of the nearby matter, and their accretion disks fade away. During this stage, black holes become nearly invisible. They no longer emit the bright X-rays and jets that marked their youth. Instead, they drift silently through space, detectable only by their gravitational effects on nearby objects. This quiet period can last billions of years. The black hole continues to grow, but much more slowly. It occasionally captures a wandering star or gas cloud, causing brief flares of activity. When a star ventures too close, the black hole's gravity stretches it into a long stream of hot gas in a process called spaghettification. The star is torn apart and consumed over several months, creating a temporary burst of light called a tidal disruption event. Binary mergers. Some black holes experience dramatic growth spurts when they encounter another black hole. These cosmic collisions represent one of the most violent events in the universe. When two black holes orbit each other, they gradually spiral inward, losing energy through gravitational waves. The final merger happens incredibly quickly. In the last few seconds, the black holes accelerate to 30% the speed of light before colliding. The impact creates a single, larger black hole and releases more energy and gravitational waves than all the stars in the observable universe emit in light. The newly formed black hole rings like a bell, settling into its final shape over several milliseconds. These mergers can double or triple a black hole's mass instantly. The resulting black hole often receives a gravitational kick that can fling it out of its host galaxy at speeds of thousands of kilometers per second, creating a rogue black hole wandering through intergalactic space. Supermassive evolution. Some black holes grow far beyond stellar masses to become supermassive giants weighing millions or billions of times more than our Sunday. This transformation happens through continuous feeding over billions of years. These monsters anchor themselves at the centers of galaxies, where they have access to vast reservoirs of gas and stars. Supermassive black holes shape entire galaxies through their gravitational influence. They regulate star formation by heating surrounding gas with their jets and radiation. When they feed actively, they become quasars, the brightest objects in the universe. A single quasar can outshine 100 billion stars visible from across the cosmos. The growth process is self-limiting, as the black hole feeds more aggressively, it generates more radiation and powerful winds that blow away nearby gas. This creates a balance between the black hole's appetite and the galaxy's ability to feed it. Most supermassive black holes spend long periods in dormancy, punctuated by brief episodes of intense activity when fresh gas falls inward. The Hawking Radiation Era All black holes, regardless of size, slowly evaporate through a quantum process called Hawking radiation. Near the event horizon, pairs of particles spontaneously appear from empty space. Normally, these particle pairs annihilate each other instantly. But at the event horizon, 
One particle falls into the black hole while the other escapes, carrying away a tiny amount of the black hole's mass and energy. For stellar mass black holes, this evaporation process is incredibly slow. A black hole weighing 10 times more than our Sun would take longer than the current age of the universe multiplied by 10 to the power of 67 to evaporate completely. The larger the black hole, the slower it evaporates. Supermassive black holes will outlive all the stars in the universe by an unimaginable margin. Final Evaporation In the far distant future, when all stars have burned out and the universe has expanded and cooled to near absolute zero, black holes will be the last remaining objects. During this era, Hawking radiation becomes the dominant process. As black holes lose mass through evaporation, they actually get hotter and radiate faster. The final moments of a black hole's life are explosive. When a black hole shrinks to the mass of a mountain, it radiates with the power of millions of nuclear bombs. In its last second of existence, it releases as much energy as our sun produces in one billion years. The black hole disappears in a brilliant flash of gamma rays and elementary particles. Smaller black holes evaporate first. Primordial black holes with the mass of asteroids would evaporate in seconds, while those with Earth's mass would last 66 billion years. Stellar mass black holes require 10 to the power of 67 years to completely disappear. The supermassive giants at galaxy centers will persist for 10 to the power of 100 years, making them among the very last objects to vanish from our universe. Death After the last black hole evaporates, the universe enters its final state. All that remains are elementary particles scattered across an ever-expanding cosmos. The information that once described stars, planets, and galaxies has been processed through black holes and released as random radiation. This marks the end of all structure and complexity in the universe. The black hole life cycle represents the universe's ultimate recycling process. Matter that once formed stars and planets gets compressed to infinite density, then slowly returned to space as pure energy. Each black hole that evaporates adds to the universe's total entropy, bringing the cosmos one step closer to maximum disorder and eternal darkness. Quantum Echoes The final evaporation of black holes creates one of physics' greatest unsolved mysteries, called the information paradox. According to quantum mechanics, information about everything that falls into a black hole should be preserved somehow, but Hawking radiation appears completely random, suggesting that all information about the original matter gets destroyed forever. This paradox challenges our fundamental understanding of reality. If information can be destroyed, it violates the basic laws of quantum physics. Some physicists propose that information gets encoded on the black hole's surface in a holographic pattern. Others suggest it gets released in subtle correlations within the Hawking radiation that we cannot yet detect. Recent theories propose that black holes might not evaporate completely. Instead, they could leave behind microscopic remnants containing all the compressed information from their entire lifetime. These quantum fossils would be smaller than atoms, but carry the memory of every star, planet, and particle the black hole ever consumed. Another possibility involves quantum tunneling effects near the final moments of evaporation. The black hole might undergo a phase transition, transforming into a white hole that explosively releases all stored information back into the universe. This would create a cosmic recycling process where matter and information cycle between black holes and white holes across cosmic timescales. The resolution of this paradox will likely require a complete theory of quantum gravity that unifies Einstein's relativity with quantum mechanics. Until then, the final fate of information in evaporating black holes remains one of the deepest mysteries in theoretical physics, representing the ultimate frontier where our current understanding of the universe breaks down completely.